So, yeah, I've, uh, I've painted with oil paint since I was 12, and um, my great uh, aunt was a painter, um, a very good painter, and uh, she was my grandfather's older sister, so when I was a little kid, she was as old as time itself, it seemed. And, uh, but anyway, she, I was a young artist in the family, and she gave me um, my first oil paints when I was about 12, like I said, and then I also was of a generation where um, I had an old, uh, older high school art teacher that kind of was like this then master in the basement of the school, and we were still allowed to paint with oil paints in high school, and so, you know, he taught me, like I'd been painting with oils before I, I uh, from these paints that I got with my aunt, but I, I really had no idea how to use them, and then, um, you know, he taught me a lot of the basic stuff that, honestly, I still, his name was Jim Lindsay. Um, it's still a lot of how I teach people to use um, oil paints now when, when, I, when I teach a uh, beginner. Okay, yeah, so the work evolved, you know, over the course of uh, a year and a half. Um, and they're all rooted in photos that I took, you know, just with my cell phone, as most of my work has been for the past several years, and, um, you know, how I started off thinking about the work, um, you know, was sort of very different from how I, I, I ended up thinking about the work. Like, I was thinking very much about uh, the containment of, of nature in different forms right from the beginning, but, you know, the relationship between that containment and, um, and sort of our situation and, and uh, our COVID world, I hadn't really thought about when I started off um, doing the work. Um, but it, it, it sort of evolved to um, make that relationship pretty implicit uh, in, in, um, in how I was thinking about it. So, um, yeah, but I think that that's always how things go with, with bodies of work, is that, you know, how you start thinking about something changes through the act of doing and through time, right? Like making a body of paintings or probably I assume a body of anything, um, you know, isn't just a journey sort of in making, but it's a journey in thinking as well. So I do have ones that I, I like a lot. Like I like this one, Quiet, which is based on a morning photo of my living room. It was a really not fun painting to paint. Um, just the drawing aspect, the technical drawing aspect of it, the perspective was really, really annoying. Um, but I, I really was pleased with how it turned out. Um, this one here as well, with the, the fire, I just, um, it reminds me of, of growing up, and I think most Canadians can kind of relate to fire by the lake, and, and the, the glow of the fire with the real cadmium uh, with the high quality cadmium yellows and oranges is, is just, it really sort of glows and I'm really pleased with how that one turned out as well. That one there, uh, it's called Distant. Um, it's a really sort of simple painting. It's not painted at the same level of complexity, but I just love the image and how it speaks to our experience in the pandemic, right? Of like, you see this, it's a, a walk through you know, a path in this sort of forested area and this group of people who are, you know, far away from you, or the viewer, and, you know, um, just the image itself, I think, speaks so much to what it's been like the past year and a half, you know, trying to go out and get fresh air. Everyone's trying to go out and get fresh air and no one can be close to one another and, and things like that. So, I, I don't know, I think the image itself says so much about what our experience has been like in, in this past year and a half. So those would probably be some of my favorites, but lots of the works have different things that I like, uh, different aspects of them. Even though a lot of the, some of them are quite annoying to paint, I decided for whatever reason, I think it's to do with the slowness of it and I made this, you know, the slowness of my life and the pandemic and, um, you know, where I, I basically never leave home and days go uh, last so much longer. Um, I don't know, I thought that, you know, making slower paintings, that 
took a long time to kind of seem to fit with that. But yeah, some of them made me want to sort of pull my hair out at, at times.